Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday the 11th of June and what a busy week it's been. We've had blog releases from Giants regarding production chains on FS22 and one of the maps, a new US map on FS22 called Elm Creek. But we have come to the end of another week. We have got a load of mods and we have a few updates. The updates are as follows. Up at the top, the maps Dutch Colony by Dutchfield Maps and Ostrovitko by Pemusiek have had updates. The Demco 22 series grain carts by Custom Modding. The Massey Ferguson ATR series by FBT Modding. The Wood Trailer Pack by Kawa and the AT Weights Pack by X Gunner X and Assassin TV2. These have all been updated today. In front of me then, we've got the old Polish barn, and the one next to it is the old Polish garage. Both of these are by KRM Design. The old Polish barn is 8.11 megabytes download, 18 slots on console. It will cost you 10,000 to buy, and you'll find it under placeables and sheds. We have doors open at the end, drive through on this side, light switch here does lighting for the entire building so if we open up the other set of doors again drive through drive through and the lights all on in here that's all controlled from the light switches in there or you can do it from here as well if you want to please close there we go and then the next one is the old Polish garage, which is 7.72 megabytes, 16 slots on console, and 5,000 to buy. Also found under placeables and sheds. Both of these, like I say, by KRM Design. Door open on the end. If I get the trigger to work, there we go. One here. Closed in garage. Light switches, I think, on each of them. Or it might just be that one, actually. That one will control both, but I think there's another light switch on the other side. We do have a hayloft, which if I jump up, I can... I did get into it earlier. That's so weird. Anyway, I yeah, there is a hayloft, and you can... <laughs> he says. You can open and close the door. You can get into it. You might need a ladder, but you can. Um, and then we've got... Doors into this side, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we've got a light switch in this side as well. Nice texturing, nice brickwork. So that's the first two. Polish Barn, Polish Garage by KRM Design. Next, we have got the small silos pack. Uh, this is by Sphinx. First one is 10 slots, second one is 15 slots, 1.5 megabytes download. We've got 60,000 litre and uh, 120,000 litre. These take standard crop types, but the prices of these are really a really good price to put into them you do need to open the cover here though and taking out is done from the pipe just to the side you'll find them under placeables and silos so the 60,000 litre one is five grand and the 120,000 litre one is only nine grand so not even double the price double the capacity but not even double the price I say they don't not multi fruit, they're standard, but I think for the capacity and the price, not a bad deal. Nicely made. Hey, a mod's not a mod without ivy, is it? Let's be honest. They're both by Sphinx. Now, next, we've got the silo pack. This is by MA7. This is 59.16 megabytes download. There are 13 different silos in this pack they range from in slots five four and three nothing is above five and the lowest they go is three now these are mixed up actually in the mod hub you've got some which are silage clamps bunker silos and some which just take regular crop types but they look they will look the same um, so the best way of doing it is when you go into it it will say fill level chaff compacting zero if it takes silage if it doesn't say that it's a regular one and like i say i placed them all out in order the order they were in the mod hub but then or in the store menu and then realized actually they were all different so we've got covered ones double we've got covered singles 
we've got smaller if you look at the, the length of that one then look at the length of that one so double but not drive through single not drive through then we got small ones again not drive through and, you, and you'll see what I mean because these ones say fill level chaff weirdly <laughs> this one doesn't that's what I mean about the mill being mixed up so this is just a regular silo you can put anything in under this vehicles pile up crop types whatever you like but that's not a bunker silo um, it just got very complicated and I think these ones over here then won't say fill level chaff because these are just standard yep they're just standard ones and then we got a corner one just here again that's not that, this one's just a regular one and then across the back we've got mixtures of the same nicely made nicely detailed nicely nice weathering on them you know they look very nice indeed yep that's standard and then we got what would be considered your more kind of regular i'm well, covered silage clamps are fairly common to be honest with you but these are the sort of ones we're more used to block work construction so you can well you can't in game but in the real world you kind of build them up as required doubles and singles so you'll find these under silos starting with the double covered silage silo then you've got covered silo and that's what i mean they're mixed up so the silage ones aren't all next to the it's very peculiar uh, you've then got double small covered silage silos prices aren't too bad actually on these small silo silage covered double silo for silage silo for silage double small silage silo small silo for silage double covered so that's not a silage one silo for silage that is double small covered silos not for silage small covered silo not for silage small silo not for silage so yeah a, a whole range mixed up now what the capacities are i'm not 100 percent certain i mean the larger ones obviously are going to take a lot more I would say you'll be looking at 250, 300,000 litres for the larger ones. I would think the smaller ones, maybe 100, 150. I mean, that is just a hazard and a complete guess based upon the size. The thing with covered ones, you don't want it to go too high because then trying to compact, you've got to get underneath. But those big arched ways, arched roofs, will make that a lot easier. I think they do seem very high. But anyway, uh, that's the Silo Pack by M.A. Seven. Moving on from there, we have got the T103 trailer. This is by Listy U. It is 4.17 megabytes download. It is two slots on console. It's a small trailer. I think it's a 2,500 litre capacity. Pretty sure it is. You'll find it under tools and trailers. There you go. 5,700 to buy. 2,500 litre capacity will take pretty much everything. Options available. We can change the main colour. Turn anything on that palette. Like that. Rim colour. Turn anything on that palette. Like that. Symbols, no. Yes. Standard. Or if you go full, it puts a 20 on the front as well. And I think some of the chassis, doesn't it? Yeah. Those are your options doesn't have um, tension belts or anything like that it's just for crop types unload like so I thought I'd indicate this but I think they're just reflectors please close there we go so that's the T103 by Listy U next it's going to be a good weekend people it's going to be a good weekend for the three meter cultivator collective massive however you refer to yourselves as that group of people that love a three meter cultivator we have one this is the gruber lizard 3m by krm design 3.81 megabytes download three slots on console you can cultivate to your heart's content out to three meters with this little beauty you'll find it under cultivators only 1000 to buy requires 80 horsepower 
uh, runs at seven miles an hour. We can change the colour to any one of those four. Those are your options. We'll drop it down. It takes a little while to settle, but once it's settled, there you go. The lizard, Gruber, or Gruber lizard. By KRM Design. Moving on, we have got these. Now, this is one of those ones that it's a mod of something that have, exists in the real world. Within game, if you want to go kind of a bit more realistic with your gameplay, this is what this sort of thing is designed for. This is the Robert. Oh, I said Robert. I thought they were French. I know I say it every single time. We'll say Robert. This is the Beat Choppers pack. And when you first read that, you think, oh, we can chop beets. What will that mean? In the real world, it is Beat Choppers. And these are designed for, you can scoop up sugar beet. These will do sugar beet and potato. So when you're feeding animals a mix of ration, you're putting beets in for cows or pigs or whatever, it slightly chops them and then you can feed them into the troughs. In game, it doesn't do anything like that. It's just a it's just a feed trough container for picking up potatoes or sugar beet, and it's got a side bit so you can feed your animals. Now, this won't suddenly give cows the ability to take sugar beet or potatoes. Only if you've got a modded animal pen that allows for that will that happen. So these are sort of fairly standard now. All of these in this pack are six slots. The pack is 42.08 megabytes download. It's by ETA La Mochoise. As I've already said, they do potatoes and sugar beet. But there's something odd. Between the Mod Hub website and what it says these are and do, and what they actually are and do, and you'll see what I mean, hopefully, in just a second. These you'll find under... I think they were tools and miscellaneous. Yes, they were. So we've got two in each size category. So we've got the HB1000, the HB1000T, the HB1600 and the 1600T, the 2500 and the 2500T. Now, each of the ones that doesn't have the T is a three-point link mounted. So that will go directly onto a three-point link. You can scoop up. It will allow to tip. Now, the T version allows it to be hooked up to other things. According to the website, the T versions will do front loader, skid steer, wheel loader, telehandler. But on here, that's not the case. Um, so what I'll show you is the options. So on each one, we can have configuration left or right, so that's for your unload. Then standard design or hydraulic box, and that gives you a hydraulic box, which opens and closes. I suppose, because the real-world version does. The HB1000T has the same left or right, has the hydraulic box, but then you've got telehandler, wheel loader, skid steer loader, and front loader as attachers on the back. So any of those vehicles can then operate this, which is great. You've then got the HB1600, which is 1,600 litres. The 1600T is 2,100 litres, so it's bigger. And I'm not quite sure why, because the HBC 1000s aren't. They're both 1,000. Now, this again, if you go for the T version, it does say it's supposed to do everything. If I go down to that, that's only giving me telehandler or wheel loader option. Whereas the website says it will do front loader, skid steer, wheel loader and telehandler. So that's only doing telehandler and wheel loader. I assume because it's bigger, it's a larger capacity. So I don't know whether on the website it's a typo, potentially. And then we've got the HB2500, which is 2,500 litre. And uh, the 2,500T, which is also 2,500 litres. And that one will also do telehandler and wheel loader as attaches. Now take that as you will the thing about these this one is the smaller 1000 and if you get a three-point link one it has the ability to tip because obviously on a three-point link you can't tip a three-point link but this one because you've got the option two you can use it as a scoop you scoop up your sugar beet i'm not quite sure how i missed some that's supposed to take a thousand liters come on 
Hmm, okay. And then when you get to your feed trough, I think I've got this one on the left unload. L1, R1 and triangle. And you can put that into your trough to unload. Very nice indeed. No, in all honesty, is there anything different between the next one and the next one? Now, I did these the wrong way around. I did the 1600 on the wheel loader and I did the 2500 on the telehandler. I mean, the, you can do them on each. As you can see, they hook up perfectly. Um, I suppose that just seemed a lot bigger and maybe should have been on that one. They do exactly the same thing, just a slightly different capacity. Up to 2,500 litres. Now that one was the T. Yeah, 2,100. Isn't it weird? I don't know why the 1,600 then on the T version is a larger capacity, but on both of the others, the T versions are the same capacity as the standard. It's an odd one. It's a conundrum, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I mean they will they will just deliver your sugar beet or potato into a feed trough. Um, that, that's really all there is to it. Um, the Robert Beet Choppers Pack by ETA La Mushwas. Next up, we have got this, which I really like. Oh, I love the details on this as well. It's another Mantrid one. Mantrid, just awesome. This is the Lizard Sadie, and it's Sadie, the cleaning lady. Um, so this is the Lizard Sadie by Mantrid. 7.35 megabytes download, 16 slots on console. This is not a feed mixer. This is a cleaning wagon, as you can see by the broom and the hoover and the rake. And it's designed for cleaning up spills and messes around feed areas, but there's quite a lot of different options on this and a lot of nice features that have been added in by Mantrid, which I, I like I say, I really like. Um, Perspex cover. We've got Perspex covers on the side unload ports as well. Um, and some choices as well to make when you actually look into getting it. So under vehicles and animals, Sadie the cleaning lady is 142 grand for the base model. Slot count was 16, that'll go down to one. Now we can change the rim color and we've got a whole load of, we've got metallics and all sorts of colors um, on this. We'll just go for, a, I didn't want to go for chrome. What do we want to go for? Old painted blue. So we've got blue on the rim. Design colour, now that one I think changes. On the side you've got this um, marked bit and on the side here you've got that orange marked bit. Let's go back up to that. If I change the design colour to, let's go with that mint. You can see that's changed on there. The minty colour. Uh, main colour, as you can see at the moment, is yellow. Let's go with painted red. And then the bit at the moment, which is orange let's go with old painted blue so those are your options for color schemes and you can mix and match those to your heart's content then we've got the option for Trelleborg or Michelin under Michelin you've got cargo X bib HDs and that's it for Michelin um, under Trelleborg we've got T404 400s T404 500s T404 560s twin radial 500s AW305 480s, AW309 500s, and TH400 400s, and then back to standard. Covers, we have got clear plastic, frosted plastic, tinted glass, then you can have tinted main colour, tinted design colour, solid main colour, solid design colour, back to clear plastic. Then tub decals, we have got basic which has got Sadie the Cleaning Lady and the Hoover. We can have Minimal, which just Sadie the Cleaning Lady. We can have Animals and a few cleaning bits, which is the one I went for, or just all cleaning appliances on there. It's an interesting look, or none at all, if you want to go for that. And then we've got, now this is the configuration. So it's, I think, 20, yeah, 25,000 litre capacity. If you look inside and all of these options, there's no discs in there, there's no choppers. This is not a feed mixer. So this will pick up animal spills from feed trough areas or most things and I'm just going to check on the website because it does say what most things are I think I'm sure it said somewhere what the most things were uh, right most things wheat where are we 
Wheat, barley, oak, canola, sunflower, soybean, maize, manure, seeds, TMR, forage, chaff, silage, straw, grass, hay, sugarcane, fertilizer, pig food, and lime. I mean, that's a fairly com- comprehensive mix of stuff. So that will do most things. And if you go for everything, it does say everything, all bulk materials. So you can use it for custom fruits, etc. So, I mean, if you want to go for absolutely everything, then go for everything. Um, animal spills will just do grass, hay, silage and pig food. So if you want to be a bit more realistic and just use it for your feed and feed spills, you can. Now, let's hop in. Let's up. Beacons on the front and on the rear of the tub. Lights. Lights at the back are brilliant. Very good. Uh, we've then got... Uh, L1 and right stick up and down will raise and lower the arm. Unfold L1 and X. Let's turn the beacons off first. L1 and X opens up the chute at the top. So when you want to pick up, just turn it on. We can raise and lower the arm. But then, let me get this right. Uh, R1 and right stick up and down opens and closes that. So what we can do is, I think it's TMR I've got on the floor. We can pick up the TMR. So yeah, you can, I mean, I've gone for everything on this one. So you can pick up absolutely anything, which is great. Let's close that back down again. Raise that up a little bit, turn it off. Now, as far as unloading goes, we can unload. We've got uh, tip side left, tip side right, or tip side rear. Tip side rear, the whole back section opens, like so. Left and right, if I go for tip side, left because it's got the plastic I do like it I think it's called that little plastic flap we can open cover which will take that away if you don't want that on there at all I do like that perspex cover plastic cover I think this too. nice addition that we're stuck on the stuff that we might be might we? now um, what's also good I don't, it's a small thing but I like it we go for camera options we've got in cab and if you look at the screen there, if we raise and lower, we've got the raise and lowering of the boom on the screen. We've also got, when we open that, hang on, if we open that cover, that's on there as well, look. Open, open and close on there. It's brilliant. We've got our capacity, is showing two. Uh, also lights, we go for all the light options. Beacons, it's got a beacon set on there too. It's very cool indeed. And then we've got this camera angle which I like so if you're going to unload to the rear and you back up it's just something a bit different isn't it let's go tip side back <laughs> it's a small thing but it made me smile um, I'm just thinking if I missed any options on that I don't think so that's pretty much all of it so yeah but cleaning up your spills whatever it might be this may be just what you're looking for packed with features that's by Mantrid. And last for today and last for the week, we have got, this is the TLX X52 Tipper. This is by 82 Studio. Also packed with features, as you find with a lot of the TLX stuff by 82 Studio. This is 18.32 megabytes download, 10 slots on console, but this also comes with a real, I think, depends whether I put it on the thumbnail or not, I probably will. We've got two fill capacities, and then we've got one that actually says in the mod tub, unrealistic. An unrealistic fill capacity that you can go for if you want to. You don't have to. It's entirely your choice. Don't be cross about it. It's all fine. So, you'll find this under tools and trailers. So, I can't remember now. Did I say what it was? 18.32 megabytes. I did, didn't I? So, 82 gram for the base model. We can change the rim colour. We've got a few to choose from. So stainless steel, dark steel, aluminium, chrome, polished. Then we go through loads of different colour options. I think I went for polished on the one I went for. Pretty sure I did. Let's swing around to the back a little bit so we can see. Uh, main colour changes, as you might have guessed, the main colour. Then design colour, we'll put it on to, let's go with, I don't know, yellow. That'll be for the cover if you go for a cover. So don't be surprised if nothing changes just yet. Then configuration, we've got standard, it's 82,820 litres, which is not a bad size anyway. Extension takes up to 108,200, or 
if you want to go un unrealistic, and it says there, unreal capacity, 250,000 litre capacity. Now, I'm pretty sure it was only a week or so ago that I said about that last trailer we had, being, was it the RYC120, being the largest we've got in-game on console? Now this is 250,000 litre capacity, if you want to go for that, that's entirely up to you. Then we've got Will Brand. We've got the X52, we've got the Phoenix, or we've got Agro tyres. So if you want it to match up with uh, the various different lorry cabs, truck cabs that um, A2 Studio does, you can. I actually, I really do like the the X52. It's nice that. So we'll set up. We've got standard. We've got spread axle. We've got steering axle. A few choices for those. Extras. We've got standard. We've got side bumpers. We've got details or both. Like so. Uh, then lighting, we've got standard. We've got chicken lights down the bottom, the lower section. Chicken lights at the top or both. And then attacher, standard or rear hitch. So if you want, if you want to hook two of these together with the dolly, 500,000 litre capacity if you want to go down that route. We're into Eureka Farms territory. And then cover, standard, or yes. And as you can see, that's in the same colour as the design. It's a nice looking trailer as well. Aside from all the options and stuff, I do like it. Now, there is one small thing, and it's a, it is a small-ish thing, is that when I hook up, I filled this up with corn. With the cover closed, there's a bit of clipping. So if you're filled to capacity, there's a bit of clipping through the cover on the roof. It's a minor thing. If you don't go with the cover, it's not going to be an issue. It's not going to be a problem. Open cover, L1 and left on the D-pad. But it comes right up to the top, so that is like properly packed. 250,000 litres of corn. As you can see, we've got our chicken lights down the side. Off, on unloading and this lifts really high this is not a trailer you want to be putting underneath a low ceilings shelter or building or storage l1 r1 and triangle as you can imagine 250,000 litres of corn is a fair amount to unload um, we do have the option to do grain door as well I'll just open that up I don't know why I always do that but tip side the grain door the height goes up the same but obviously it comes out a much smaller stream out of the back. Although well, there isn't actually a tip animation, is there? But there you go. That's the TLX X52 Tipper by 82 Studio. It's a monster. And that's it for the mods for today and for another week. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Whatever you're choosing to do, it's lovely weather here in the UK at the moment. So if you're in the UK, enjoy it. If it's hot wherever you are, enjoy it. Or if it's not, still enjoy it anyway. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.